hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Oluwa Shou. um please i'm appealing to anybody that will be watching this video i know most people do not have the patience of watching the video to the end but please i'm appealing to us if you're watching this video or you come across this video please try and watch it to the very end because there are some important lessons that we are going to be learning there are some important points that everybody's going to learn from in this video um but before i go on if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload a new video and to all my returning subscribers and to the new one thank you so much i do not take the love for granted one bit thank you thank you so much so last week i posted a video about a nurse that um being charged for manslaughter because um she made a mistake at work she works at a care home so she made a mistake of um not replacing the oxygen mask of that particular um service user and the service user later on died um so um there are so many things that can be um attached to that um video and if you notice that i've been making points about self-care lately taking care of oneself looking after oneself don't let us walk ourselves to death let us be careful because there is another news that i reported i think last week as well of a nurse that slumped and died at work i'm an advocate of um take care of yourself take time out and all of that and um that is why i'm sharing this video today as well it's a very it's a very sad one we lost um one of our nigerians brother a carer that works here in the united kingdom um but before i share the story there are a few points that i want to make leading up to the story and um, if you see me looking at it's because i wrote the points down so that i don't forget anything and i'm kind of um articulating my in my words and also number one point that i want to make is that um do you know you can always take time off work i know we are chasing money i know we are chasing pounds i know there are responsibilities i know there are bills to pay i know most of us are in debt but you cannot work yourself to death you can't it's um and um in my ad in my language they say something that which means that the lifespan of work is longer than your own lifespan as well because if you're not there work will still continue best believe that if something bad happens to anyone right now they might not even say one minute they might not do one minute silent for that person that's the end that is the end end of it no that is the end so why are we so bound on um working and work i'm not saying we shouldn't work but you if you think that your body is not feeling like it a particular time please you can take time off most of us blacks africans we don't most of us don't go on holiday we can work 10 years straight no holiday and some of the time even if we go on holiday we tend to go back to our own country where you know that it is no holiday that you're going to you're going there to spend the money you're because people will not stop coming to your place anytime i go back home like this i don't rest as early as 6 a.m people are coming because they want to come and greet me i'm not saying it's bad but that is not holiday to me if you want to go on holiday go to a place where you can relax your brain you can relax your body you can relax your mind you're settled so yeah that's my first point take time off take time off work rest relax recuperate get your energy back especially in this care field especially in this um, healthcare industry the job is mentally draining the job is physically draining so we need chance opportunity to take care of ourselves that's the first point the second point is that we you know you have the ability to say no at work there are some jobs that they give to you and you'll be like i'm sorry i can't do this it might affect me or for example a male carer they tell you to go and take care of um female service user you can say no you are not um um what's it called you are not um comfortable giving that kind of personal care to an opposite sex it is within your right to say no sometimes you know this is our culture about being scared to say no you don't want to offend anybody has put so many people in trouble and i think that is one of the things that um happened now with the death of this particular carer this man in uk because he was asked to go take care of um uh, of a service user and another carer or nurse found him and went ahead to report him i'm going to go to the story in a bit but let me just make my point because it's a very serious one and i'm very passionate about this also 
Number three, the next point that I want to make is that I'm an advocate of being empathetic, of being kind to one another. Please let us check up on ourselves. Please, even a simple text message you do to someone you know you haven't heard of heard from in a long time. You can just say, Oh, how are you? You know, I hope you're okay. And the person can reply, Yes, I'm fine. Please, the country is lonely, the country is very boring, the country can be depressing, the weather is not good. So you can add up to it. Please let us let us check up on ourselves. Let's be empathetic. Let's be kind to one to one another. That is another point. All right. Um. Yes. Yeah, so I think those are the points that I want to make. So a particular Nigerian carer died. It's it's not a recent news, but I know there are a few points that we can take away from it. If you know there are some other points and lessons too that I've not touched on, please put it in the comment section. So this Nigerian man works as a carer in one of the care homes here in the United Kingdom and um, he was asked to give um, personal care to a service user, a female service user. And he went ahead to give the personal care. But as he was doing it, a nurse or a carer, I think, I'm not particularly sure now, passed by and um, that one went ahead to the office and reported him that he's, I mean, she saw him doing some sort of thing with the service user. See, let me tell you, I've, something like, I've come across something like that. I was working, myself and one man, we were working, he's, he's Nigerian as well, we were working in this care home as far back as 2016 or 15. So, um, there is this particular service user, a female, let me call her uh, um, Teresa. So Teresa loves when my my colleague gives her um, personal care for whatever reason I don't know. But they and he that my colleague always complained that um she oh, I don't like going into this woman's room. I don't like it. But anytime they ask him to go there, he will say, "Let me take along someone with me." So that day I was the only carer available. I was like, "She oh, please follow me to this woman's room. I don't like going there by myself." And I saw what happened. This woman was telling my colleague, a male colleague, that to put cream under her, to put cream in a private part. So that one was now, because there is this um, cream that they apply for pressure, wound, or sore, bed sore, something like that. But feel, being lying down in the bed for a long time, they got sore on their bum, sort of. And so it was, uh, it was asked to apply cream. And the woman was just on the bum, sorry. And the woman now asked um, him to apply it to her uh, inner thigh. And if you see the way this woman was now making noise, this woman was now making some terrible noises. You know the noise I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh, like, yeah, rub it in, put it, yeah, that side. No, 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 it's... And I was looking like this, like, Teresa, is everything okay? Are you all right? Is everything well? So if I was not there and the permanent staff passed by, had that sound, that man could have been in trouble for the rest of his life because that man is now a nurse now. That means he wouldn't have been able to be a qualified nurse water because that woman was making some naughty noise and he wasn't doing anything. He was just doing his job. So please, as a male nurse or a male carer, if you're asked to give any personal care to any opposite sex, request for another carer or you say, no, you can't do it. Request for another person to join you, to be your witness, to stand there when you're doing it. So let me continue with my story. So this um, nurse or the carer reported this man and um, they called him into the office and they decided to let him go. That rather than um, him, they report him or carrying out investigation, they decided to let him go and say, um, you know, we just want you to resign and we, we don't want to put you in too much trouble. That is another one point that I want to make there as well. It's not everything that you just let go like that. No. Be believe that this country is a land of opportunity and is a land where there is rules of law. I know you can say sometimes the law can be against and all of that, but you will still make effort because sometimes silence can mean consent or silence can mean, yeah, you agree with whatever decision. You can refuse that no, stand on your ground. I did not do this. And because, and I think there are some unions that you can join that can help you fight this thing. How can someone pass by and just... And if, because if she feels you're doing something to a service user and you now decided to go and report this person, it is wrong. It is totally wrong on all level. You know what I mean? So now the, this man was um, let go at work. Um, he had to resign and he later on got a job in another place and he was working. He kept working. And one day 
at his new workplace he went there and he went on his break and um yeah from the story i had that they were expecting him to come back from his break and he never came back and by the time they sent someone there to go and check up on him they realized that he passed out and by the time they sent the call for the ambulance and by the time help came he's gone he already died the cause of death is not entirely known it might be due to stress it might be due to heart attack it might be due to depression nobody knows but i feel there are so many things that are attached to this death it might be that the man did not recover from the from the lies that were being told on him you know there are some people that they just can't get it off their head that ah i didn't do this thing and this person lied to me and maybe he didn't have anybody to open up to to share his concern with that's why i said please let's be empathetic towards each other let's show care let's be let's be concerned let's check up on ourselves when we are in a foreign land let's act like one big family this video too is speaking to me as well i'm going to start making amends on my end as well please let us take care of ourselves yeah so um yeah that's the few things that i have to say if you have any things to to say as well please put it in the comment section and yeah thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one bye bye